I think there's kind of a lot of different trends uh, right now. Uh, the biggest we could see is that uh, People normally uh, have better luck on the products, uh, mo mostly online, before they decide where to purchase the products. Uh, so what we could see is that the development goes that uh, like 70 to 80 percent of all our customers uh, make the decision online before they go to our stores and purchase the product. So that is the biggest trend. I think the second trend is that we are losing customers uh, in our stores, and they are more seldom they go to our stores, um, but often they make a purchase. So the conversion rate is higher than before. So the conversion rate goes up, but the number of customers uh, total goes down. Very an exciting trend. All right, so there's a couple, uh, because the development goes really fast right now. Uh, so I think the coolest app I actually recently found out is uh, Arbit, that makes delivery within an hour within the Stockholm area. Uh, so we're actually introducing it now to several stores uh, and that you could purchase from one of our stores uh, one, one product and you will get it to no, no matter where you are within an hour. So it's quite a cool function actually. Yeah. So the app actually it makes a big change uh, in customer behavior uh, because re before we had like two to three days delivery uh, within Sweden uh, and now we could make delivery within an hour. So that makes a good uh, development for our customers and we could reach them a lot faster uh, and we could sell like more gifts because the gifts they often are quite quite eager to get, so uh, it's a good development for us. Uh, within three years time, I believe retail will make a big change. Uh, if you have a look in uh, USA, you can see how stores are ending up and how the online and omnichannel growth very fast. Uh, suddenly we could see the same pattern in Sweden. Uh, I believe we won't close any stores, but I believe the shape of stores will be different within a couple of years. I think the stores will be more like click and collect uh, and sm small mortar stores rather than large like retailer stores. So I believe we are in for a change within the store's development and also with, the off of course, the digital behavior for all customers. Right, so the biggest challenges are absolutely the digitization. Uh, you can see that most retail companies are have old like ET structures uh, and that is a huge uh, like challenge. Uh, so I think that is the largest challenge to be like IT, have a really good like IT development uh, and get all the strategies in place. Uh, so I think the next step will be to gather up, get a great, great like IT structure, uh, and then we could meet the customers on their demands. The ultimate customer experience are when you are seamless in all channels. Uh, so no matter what, if you visit our site on mobile, on desktop, on laptop, or on any other device, or if you visit our stores, you should get like the same picture of our company. And of course, you should be able to like click and collect. You should be able to return in all the different points. Of course, also you should be able to like get home delivery from stores, and you should also be able to like use the same payment methods, no matter what if you are online or if you are in stores as well. Uh, so I think that it will be the most most important thing uh, to have like a seamless uh, connection with the customers.